the overall goal of this procedure is to provide a reliable setup used to carry out potentiodynamic corrosion on small metallic samples. This method can answer key questions in the biomedical field, such as being able to deduce the corrosion susceptibility of implantable materials. The main advantage of this technique is that it is a relatively inexpensive method of corroding small metallic samples. Construct the sample holder from stainless steel spacers and an M3 stainless steel threaded screw, held in place with an M3 hexagonal nut. Remove the head of the threaded screw using pliers and polish the cut segment to maintain the thread pattern. When all individual components are ready, assemble the electrode holders. Each electrode holder contains three spacers joined together by the M3 screws, resulting in an 11.5 centimeter handle. Place the hexagonal nuts at the junction of the screw and spacers to lock the connection. Once the electrode holders are assembled, Apply multiple coats of stop-off lacquer to prevent the stainless steel rods from corroding while immersed in the corrosion chamber. To do this, quickly coat half of each electrode holder and allow it to dry before coating the other half. This will help obtain a complete, well-sealed coat without damaging the areas to be coated. Place the electrodes in an elevated position in the fume hood to dry. Ensure the freshly coated regions do not touch other surfaces, as this will ruin the applied coat. Clean the corrosion vessel before every corrosion run. Scrub the vessel with household detergent and rinse thoroughly with tap water. Repeat this step three times.